just got done watching five or six videos of um, the New York subway hero, Mr. Wesley Autry. And uh, Mr. Autry, I don't know if you will ever see this or not, but I salute you, man, with all my heart. What a beautiful, um, courageous, brave human being you are. And what an amazing um, example of uh, this compassion, you know, and really the best a human being could be. You know, that's what I'd like to say to you if I could uh, meet you face to face and, you know, buy you a hamburger or a beer or whatever uh, you'd like and, you know, have the privilege of uh, getting to talk to you, you know, for a few minutes. Um, I, there's so much about your story that is amazing. Um, you know, one of the things that just comes to mind is that you do seem like a regular guy. I mean, you're obviously a person of uh, terrific moral fiber, but, um, you know, you got a, a regular job, um, you're being a good father to your two beautiful children, and just trying to get the bills paid probably like so many of the rest of us, you know, a hurried, busy day, getting your girls to daycare, um, you know, all of the pressures that we all feel trying to get things done and you're just in the middle of that kind of day um, but there's this thing uh, that may be inside all of us but we just don't all have the courage to connect with and uh, what you did just amazes me and I'm so proud of you and I appreciate it just on a personal uh, level because it is so easy. I, I log onto the internet and I read so much news about what's bad in the world, and uh, to get to come across all these accounts of your story, to get to see you um, telling your story in your just regular everyday American human being way. Um, I just can't thank you enough, and I'm glad that there are men like you out there and. Um, Again, I, I guess what I, I keep getting around to is that what was within you that day is within all of us. It's just a question of whether we can touch it or not, you know, to have that kind of courage. And um, there's so many ways in which the world needs help that are, you know, more and less challenging than what you did. Um, not very many more challenging than what you did. But it just does give me hope, man, that... Uh, I hope that everybody else's hearts are opened up as much as mine is, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to look at all people differently now, thanks to you. Um, it's so easy to just look at the outside of people, you know, or how they're acting, or how they're dressing, or what they're listening to, um, and just make, you know, just be dismissive of their humanity. And, um, man, you just make me not want to do that anymore, you know? I mean, I want to find that good piece of every human being that's in them that you displayed so courageously, you know? And I want to be open to that, and I don't want to miss that anymore. So, I just want to thank you for helping me think about all that and to really try to recommit to that way of being with my fellow human beings. And also just really applaud you for uh, being one of the most brave and courageous, beautiful examples um, of a person that I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah, if you're ever out in the Bay Area, <laughs> give me a call, man. Love to take you out to dinner.